Hi, everybody. My name is Dr. Laura Gray, and welcome to CWI 101. This is section 005W. So if you have registered for this section, um, the online class of Surviving the Zone or Sunday Evening, I am thundering. So um, not cool. Um, but I'm going to walk you through this thing you, you're going to simply, strongly, strongly advise you to watch the weekly videos. Okay. Um, it will tell you everything you need to know, how to do your best, how to do well, how to make the best grades on everything. I'm going to tell you where to find things. I'm going to tell you things that the instructions won't necessarily tell you. So do watch the videos. And if you get tired of seeing me every week, I'm sorry. Um, but this is how how I like to do it on that. So you'll see an announcement that the first thing you'll do is watch that video. And the video may be 15 minutes long, it may be 20 minutes long, it may be 30 minutes long. Um, because this is summer, we take everything and kind of compare press it into eight weeks, where we normally have a 16-week semester in the fall and in the spring, we have an eight-week summer session, which means we get two weeks to do a lot, but, um, it, it, you know, depending on how quickly you work, it may be under that, it may be a little over that, um, but it's, you really really can't get behind. So after watching that video, you're going to go on the left to a tab that says week by week. You're going to click on that tab and the first thing you'll see at the top is something that says please read and it says I will leave the units open throughout the semester to allow you act to access information and build your final assignment. Um, that's true. The assignments, however, will close based on the dates indicated. During week three, you can't go back and turn in stuff you should have done in week one. Um, and under that, you'll see this week that we have Units 1 and Unit 2 open. Those are the things we're going to concentrate on this week. And the first one says Unit 1, welcome. Welcome to class. This unit will run from Monday, June 6th through Wednesday, June 8th. Our odd-numbered units will run Monday through Wednesday. Our even-numbered units will run Thursday through Sunday. And if you want to do those Thursday through Saturday and take Sunday off, you may. That's why I do it that way. So, day one, that is today, Monday, June 6th. Familiarize yourself with the course layout. Read the syllabus and schedule from beginning to end. You will see there is a tab on the left side for syllabus. There is also a tab for... Um, meet your instructor or faculty information. Okay, a little bit about me. Um, that's part of familiarizing yourself with the course layout. If you scroll down, there's a part where you can see your grades. It's called Grade Center. Um, or My Grades is what you'll see. For me, it says Grade Center. And you'll... Um, You'll see a few other things. You'll see syllabus. Um, you definitely need to read that because you were responsible after unit one for knowing everything that is in the syllabus. There's not going to be a test on it, but I will have assumed that you've read it and will adhere to the um, conditions in that syllabus. View the weekly video. That's this. It's the first thing you'll do each week. 
and you have a video excerpt from Night of the Living Dead. Now, where do you find that? You click on the purple part where it says Unit 1 Welcome, and that will take you to a new page, and you'll see that all of your assignments and any other videos are on that page. Everything's there. They might not be in order, but they're there. So your assignments to complete, which are in the second column, are a class discussion, why I'm confident that I can do well at CWI and slay zombies, and it'll be a little more detailed than that. And to do that, you'll click on where it says class discussion, and it'll take you right to it. And you will need to post your discussion, I think, before you can see everybody else's, I'm pretty sure. So if you get there and it's blank and you just see a place to post something, you'll know to post it. Um, you're going to earn the Blackboard badge found under Tutoring Badges. And the way we earn a badge is to go up to the top of your course, where it's up to the top of the page, take you to a page that has some columns in it. And you look for the one that says Blackboard. And you click on it, and that means you'll hold down Control and the thing next to delete at the top. Um, scroll screen or something like that. And you will copy and paste that into the Dropbox where you badge. So that's how you turn that in. And if you can't, if you don't think you can remember this, that's okay. The instructions are there in the assignment on that assignment page that you get to by clicking the purple Unit 1 Welcome. All right, so you're going to earn your Blackboard badge. And you'll see out to the side of these, outside, of, out to the side of the class discussion and the Blackboard, Blackboard badge, it has a due date. These are due Wednesday of week one before midnight. That means June 8th. Um, it has a point value. The discussion's worth 25 points. The Blackboard badge is worth 10 points. And these add up, guys. May not seem like a lot, but they add up. Missing something can hurt you. All right. And in the discussion, you'll not only post your initial discussion, but you'll respond to two other people. And again, it's in the instructions. Moving down, the assignments to complete, you have a motivation activity. And then you're going to read the article on intrinsic versus extrinsic motivation and do a short little, it says a short paper. It's not really a formal paper, but you're going to answer some questions in paragraph form after reading that article. And you're going to turn that in by Wednesday, and that is worth 25 points. Now, once you have done everything on this grid, which will also be everything on that back page after clicking the Unit 1 Welcome when you get to that back page of the assignments. Once you've done all of those things, you are finished with your Week 1 work. All right, and if you have done everything and done it correctly, you will have earned 60 points in those three days. And I will sit down Thursday and grade everything. All right, and, you know, I'm pretty easy when it comes to that. If you've done the work, you're going to get the points. All right, if you turn in something blank, you're not. Um, follow the instructions. Do what it says. If you have trouble, email me. Now, you've got to give me 24 hours to answer the email, so don't email me Wednesday night at 11 o'clock and say, I don't understand any of this because it's going to be thirsty before I email you back, thirsty sometime, and the week will be over. So start early on this stuff so you don't find yourself in that situation. But most people do fine, nothing to be afraid of. 
And um, we're going to delve into talking about zombies from the first class discussion and from the video excerpt you view from Night of the Living Dead. And um, that is an introduction to zombies and other college personnel. Okay. And Night of the Living Dead is special because it was really the first zombie movie. It came out in 1968. George Romero directed it, and I am showing you the colorized version. It was originally in black and white, and audiences found it absolutely terrifying. And the scene that I'm going to show you, believe it or not, caused people to run screaming from their seats. This was in 1968. Now, once you have finished all that... You should finish all that up by Wednesday. Starting Thursday, we're going to move to Unit 2. So if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that it says, Welcome to Unit 2. And we're going to treat this just like we treated Unit 1. And it tells you this unit runs from Thursday, June 9th through Sunday, June 12th. So you have an extra day if you want to take it. And um, we have a little more to do, okay? You've got some reading to do. It says to do on day one. And I, I, would, I would make this a practice, okay? I would make Mondays and Thursdays your reading days, all right? Because you've got two text books or two books for this class. I wouldn't call them textbooks, but they're books. And your assignments are to read chapters 1, 13, and 14 from the Freshman Survival Guide. It's a red book. Read pages 1 to 27 from the Zombie Survival Guide. That's the book by Max Brooks. Some of you may have read that before if you're into zombies. Um, it's an oldie but a goodie. And you're going to view an excerpt from Zombieland, which is kind of a little bit older zombie movie with Woody Harrelson and Jesse Eisenberg. And um, it's about the rules, because you got to have rules when you're hunting zombies. It's very important. And, you know, we're talking about zombies, not just in the context of them being real flesh-eating zombies, brain-eating zombies that want to eat your brains and kill you. But we're also talking about a metaphorical sort of zombie that everybody has, and we all have several of these. And yours might, you might have an anxiety zombie. Um, you might have a zombie who tells you that you're no good at public speaking. You might have a math anxiety zombie. You might have a procrastination zombie. I'm just thinking of zombies, some common zombies that college students have. Um, you might have a, an I start things, but I can't seem to finish them zombie. Um, zombies can really take over our lives sometimes and make us pretty miserable and over the next eight weeks, we are really going to work on putting those zombies in the closet at the very least, locking them in the closet, or just killing them outright. I mean, there would be nothing better for me, I think, than to take a chainsaw to my procrastination zombie's neck. Um, you know, just saying. So... We're going to work on that. And we'll have zombies that we work on our entire lives. So, but there are always rules when you're dealing with zombies, which is why you're going to watch this video excerpt. And under assignments to complete, um, we're going to think about reading and things that distract me when I'm supposed to be reading and how I can remedy that. And we kind of want to think about the rules from the zombie land video. Um, what of the rules can we apply to things that distract me, whether you're reading or doing other things or just how to handle distractions? And I know that most of you have a distraction zombie. Um, 
you know, especially if you're between the ages of about 18 and 25, you have a distraction zombie. Now, if you're well beyond that, you may have conquered your distraction zombie. Me, I'm 52. Haven't conquered mine. Um, so the rules apply to a lot of us. And that discussion and answering two of your peers is due Sunday of week one before midnight. It's worth 25 points. You have an MSLQ assignment and a reflection. The MSLQ stands for Motivated Strategies for Learning Questionnaire. It, again, another oldie but a goodie. This was developed in 1991 by a guy named Pintrich and his colleagues. I used it in my doctoral dissertation. Well, I used eight questions from it. I used part of it. And um, it really makes you think about the way you learn and how motivated you are to learn. And this, again, this can be found along with the link to the discussion. If you click on Welcome to Unit 2 on the purple, it takes you to that back page where all these assignments are. And you can get to that MSLQ and the reflection assignment from there. Do Sunday of week one before midnight is worth 30 points. Um, you're also going to take the CWI pretest this week. This pretest is not for 50 points. It might give you a score somewhere between in the 20s and 50 points. You get 10 points for taking it. This is a baseline test. This is just to see what you know. And it's going to be testing you on some things that we are going to be learning over the next eight weeks. So some of this might be familiar to you. Some of this you might never have heard of. That's okay. We just kind of want to see where you are. So want you to take this. I'm going to unlock the CWI pretest. It'll be a tab on the left. So you can take it and you'll have from Sunday, from Thursday through Sunday, June 12th at midnight to take this test. And you'll get 10 points for taking it. Don't sweat it if you don't know the stuff, okay? But do take it seriously because I want to know what you know. And finally, we'll do this at the end of every week, meaning at the end of every even-numbered unit. We're going to do a reading summary. This is how I know you've been reading in these books, all right? Because if you don't do the reading, you're going to be very, very, very upset at the end of the class with two assignments that basically force you to have done the reading. All right. So every week at the end, we're going to do a brief reading summary and it is worth 50 points. Now, if you've done the reading, it's going to be the easiest 50 points you've earned all week. Okay, it is going to be a freebie. If you haven't done the reading, it's going to be very difficult. So make it a freebie. Make it an easy 50 points and be sure you do the reading. And that is from the Freshman Survival Guide and the Zombie Survival Guide. That is my way of making you read the material. Um, and the instructions for that are on that back page with the assignments. So that is everything that we are doing this week. It comes out to about an assignment a day. Um, and none of this is really difficult or really time-consuming. Um, you just have to keep up with it and be a good manager of time. Um, time management is going to be key to your success in this class. If you don't have good time management, you are going to either get good time management skills or it's going to kill you. In this class. Um, so hopefully you are going to develop some good time management skills if you don't already have them. Um, really, really important here. Really important. And next week we will look more at that. 
So um, that's it. That's what covers week one. If you have any questions, reach out to me through email. If you have trouble finding anything, reach out to me through email. Um, if you have any questions about the syllabus, if there's something in there that you just don't understand, reach out to me through email. Um, but don't fail to watch the video and fail to read the instructions on things and then start sending me a bunch of questions because I'm going to point you right back to the video and right back to the syllabus and right back to the grid that explains things. Um, I'm very happy to help you. I'm always very happy to help you, but you have to use the resources that are at your disposal first. Um, again, I am happy to meet all of you. I can't wait to get to know each of you. I'm excited to be teaching this class. This will be my second or third summer to teach it. I forget. I've been doing this a couple of years. Um, I mean, for CWI, I've been doing this for a lot of years, but i um, happy to be working with you and I'm definitely here to help. So if you need anything, please reach out. If something unexpected comes up that is emergent, please reach out. Um, I overslept. I was really tired this week. I had a cold. My kid had a cold. Um, I was tired from working. Those aren't emergencies. All right. Um, I got COVID. That's an emergency. Um, I was in a car wreck and was injured. That's an emergency. Someone in my immediate family died. That's an emergency. All right. You see the difference? Um, and, you know, we can work something out. But just general everyday stuff, we all have to plow through. So, um, again, time management. Um, let's have a great week. And I will see you online.